This isn't a trivial matter, and what lies at the heart of this matter is whether there was an abuse of power, and an abuse of power affects every citizen of this country. And I'm afraid the position of the First Minister is just absurd, because I've spent enough time sparring with her here to know that her powers of recall are in good order. And leaving apart the question of precisely who is supposed to have reminded her of a two-person meeting, you have to ask why. Why did the First Minister mislead Parliament by omitting the fact that this meeting ever happened? Abuse of power. Let's cut to the chase here. What happened uh, was that the Scottish Government, um, in the wake of the Me Too revelations, put a procedure in place to allow any complaints about anybody, regardless of who they are, seniority, political affiliation, to be investigated. I am sorry, but I think that was the right thing to do. I think that's a good use of power, if that's how you want to describe it. Um, I did not choose to be in a position where complaints were made about my predecessor. I didn't choose to be in the position where uh, my government uh, would have to investigate that. We've tried to do the right thing at every stage, uh, to do right uh, by those who brought forward the complaints. The government didn't do right at all stages because it got an aspect of that wrong. But any suggestion uh, that it should just have somehow been covered up or not dealt with properly, um, I absolutely reject. So when the committee chooses to call me, I'll go into all of the detail. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to get on with the job that I think most people out, of there, out there want me to do, which is continue to take the tough decisions uh, to get this country through a global pandemic. And finally, and I know Ruth Davidson doesn't like uh, being reminded of this, but I am open to scrutiny, not just by this parliament, I'm open to scrutiny by the Scottish people. And when I stand before them in an election next year, they can make their judgment uh, on me and in my conduct. They won't get that opportunity with Ruth Davidson because she'll be away by then in the House of Lords.